morning students i welcome you all for this online teaching in our today's video we are going to see subject mathematics unit 1 the continuation of unit 1 expanded form in today's class i am going to teach you what is expanded form before we go into our video let's all close our eyes eyes and let's pray okay our loving father we love you lord we thank you for this day thank you lord for giving all your day in our life Heavenly Father, as we begin today's activities, we ask your presence to lead us and guide us. We with each child, Lord, give them good understanding power, help them to read and write very well. Bless all their parents, relatives, and brothers and sisters in the family. Lord, we especially remember the sick ones. If anyone among us are sick, touch your healing hand upon them and guide them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, children. In today's class, I am going to teach you expanded form. First, let's understand what is expanded form. Expanded form means nothing. It represents okay. The expanded form represents the number as the sum. Sum means the total. Okay, sum of the place value of its digits. Okay, place value of its digits. Okay. For example, okay, can you see this? Can you see this is a rubber band? Can you see a small rubber band? First, it will be like this, a very small rubber band. Okay. So when you pull both the sides, it will expand. Okay. This will expand. Okay. This is called expand, expanded. Okay. Expanded. For example, I give you a number, and I with the example, I am going to teach you. For example, if you take eight, any four digits, six, nine, three. Okay, this is four digit numbers. Okay, four digit numbers. So now what you are going to do is we are going to expand it. Expand this. We are going to like this expand. We are going to make it bigger. Okay, we are going to expand. Okay, how we are going to expand? Okay, how are you going to expand? Children, it's very easy. First, write the place values. Okay, first write the place values for this. There are how many digits? Four digits. Here, right here. Any number? Eight, six, nine, three. Okay. So, if you are going to write the expanded form, let's write the place values. Okay, write like this. There are four digits. So, draw four box. Okay, draw four box. I think you can write it in a brown written down. Okay, there are four digits. So, write them here. One, two. So right here, ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousand place. First write the places. Okay, place in which place? Ones place. So write here three. Nine is in tens place. Six is in hundred place, and eight is in thousand place. Okay. Now we have written the place values. Now write three the three the place. Value three. Okay, three. Three into what is here? One. Okay, three one half three ones. Okay, three into one is three. We can write three ones. Yeah. Nine. Nine into what is there? Ten. So write nine into ten is nine. Nine is a nine, so zero. Ninety, nine tens are ninety. So you get nine tens. Next six. I write to make it clear. I write at the top. Okay. Six into what is here? Hundred. So six into hundred is six hundred. Now go. Eight. Eight into what is here? Thousand. So eight into thousand is eight thousand. Okay. Now see here. Now you can write the expanded form of okay. Expand the expanded form of 
tens plus six. Okay, this is for the expanded form. You can write the more than method. Okay, children, copy down this in your note. Okay, write the heading. Okay, write the heading. In this, after seeing this video, you can write this. Write the expanded form as the subtitle. Write the definition. Then write an example. Write the question. Write the expanded form. The expanded form of 976. And write this. Okay, so we'll see here. Write the expanded form. Okay, there I gave you one sum now. Below that you can write this. Two, three, four. Okay. See here. There they are given the numbers in the short form. And the last thing you have to write in the expanded form. First write the place values. Okay, very important. Okay, very important is writing the place value. Then see the first digit here is four. Thousand for per thousand you have three zeros plus seven. Seven three on the top it is there means hundred for hundred you have two zeros. Then three and one. One tens means you have one zero plus eight. Okay, eight ones. Okay, eight ones. Otherwise, like this also I said. Four after writing four, you can see how many digits are there. Write that many zeros. After writing the next digit is seven. After writing seven, close it and see how many digits. Two, so write two zeros. Then one. After one, how many digits are there? One, so put one zero. Okay, is it clear? Now see here, children. Here you have zero in hundred place. So I will write ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. Don't be confused if zero is there. As it is, see here six thousand. Write six per thousand, three zeros. Zero hundreds. Okay, zero hundreds. After zero, see, after write the first digit zero, after closing, there are two digits. You can put two zeros, it doesn't make any difference. So you can just keep with one zero also. Okay, the value of zero is zero itself. So the next digit is so zero hundreds. But we have to write this. Then three tens plus five. Okay, understood? Next year, see here. Nine ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. Nine thousand plus. Another place for we have zero. In tens place we have zero plus two. Okay, two. That's all right. Copy down very neatly in your note, children. Copy down. See, see here. This is the short form, and then asking you to write in the expanded form. For example, okay, just see. They will give you in the long form and if they ask you to write in short form. Okay, see here. They are given in long form or expanded form and when they ask you to write in short form, how do you write? Write all the first digits. One, two, three, four. Okay, write all the first digits. Four, seven, one, eight. So four thousand seven hundred and eighty. This is the short form. See, coming to the next digit, children, don't be confused. Listen carefully. You are also writing the first digits. Okay, this is called short form. Six, zero, three, five. Don't omit or don't leave this zero. You have to write it. Okay, is it clear? Again, I will repeat the children. Again, I am going to repeat. See here. Six. It's all the first digit. Here, this is the first digit. So, you have to write zero. Coming to the next one. See, this is the first digit. Here, here, here. So, nine, zero, zero. 
So 9 comes at 2, okay? But you don't find the short form, this I repeat in the next, just to make you understand. Or if you don't know this clear, fast. Okay, see your children now. Write the number. Write the number. They have given you a expanded form and you have to write in the short form. As I said, take down on the first numbers. Okay, this is the easy one. When there are four digits, okay, means there are four. See, one, two, three, four. So you can write it very easily. The first digits. Three, four, five, one. Three, four, five, one. See here in the next digit. Or in the next sum, see there are only three. Okay, three groups. Six, nine, seven. So six thousand. Six thousand places there. Nine hundred. Okay. So you take the seventy. Or you can write the first only first digit seven. And one plus nothing is the digit. Six thousand nine hundred seventy. Okay. Read and see. Then only you understand. Six thousand nine hundred seventy. Six thousand plus nine hundred plus seventy is. 6970. Next. The only 700 is there. So 770. 779. Write it for the first digits. Okay. See here, here 100. So here only 100 place. One stands hundred place. Here thousand, six thousand is there. So we have written like this. Here five thousand, again four. Then what four digits? Five thousand, four hundred, thirty-two. Okay, thirty-two. See at last, three thousand sixty. Three thousand. Okay, nothing is there in hundred place. So we have to put this. Three. 0 and 100 plus then 60. 3016. Okay, children. Do this. Take your max book. Okay, today's for today's homework. Take your max book and see page number 10. Okay. Complete page number 10. Exercise 1.2. Okay, that's one that's one for today's class. In the next Zoom class, I'll continue. Thank you.